Peace, love, and light, greetings. Tap, tap, poo. What up, though? Yo, hey, what's going on, guys? If you girl, Crystal D, are coming through. So I'm coming through with another dream interpretation, dream vision. Um, so I actually have two, but in this video, I'm going to talk about one that was like a coincidental type of event. And then in my next video, I'm going to talk about a dream that felt as real as breathing, okay? So it could possibly be a vision. So the dream I'm about to talk about, right? So last night when I was going into dream world, well, first, 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 if this is your first time coming through, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for returning. Welcome to my page. Make sure you subscribe and join the tribe. All right, so let's get to the dream, okay? Y'all know I have a metaphysical shop where I find, where I make handmade copper and crystal jewelry and spiritual tools. So this is one of my organite bracelets. It's truly one of a kind, okay? Um, all right, so this dream. So when I went night night, I seen this ostrich, right? And it wasn't trying to harm me or anything. And the ostrich, I only seen it from the neck up, and it was just looking like looking at me. So I'm just like why am I seeing an ostrich, <laughs> right? You know, that's just a random type of animal to see. But I do have a bird spirit animal, like the hawk and the eagle is my bird spirit animal. But let me tell you the irony, and not even the irony, but the coincidental events, right? So I just bought this deck, this Aboriginal Dreamtime deck, right? And I just did the flip through. I have yet to post a flip through. And what did I find in this deck? This ostrich. <laughs> I don't lie, no lie, y'all. And the ostrich, it didn't have like the red eyes per se, but it was look just like this from the neck up and the head was just looking. And I was just like, when I was going through the flip through and I seen this car, I was like, OMG. So let me do this video real quick. Now, mind you, this is a brand new deck. I ain't even get the savior or anything. I just really flipped through it. So let's see what this silence message is. Because everything is always a message. Remember that. All right. So I'm going to just read it, y'all. So we got silence popping off. It's a two page read. Okay. So I'm going to tell you the story. A long time ago, when the emu was created, he was given a voice. However, the emu loved to talk and had an opinion on everything and sometimes was very greedy with his food. After some time, the other animals began to tire of the emu's constant chatter and his habit of eating more than his share of food. He was becoming annoying to everyone. All the animals got together and decided to trick him. The animals gathered round and talked about the bush plums that they had found on a tree nearby. Hoping the emu would go and eat all the bush plums and get sick from a tummy ache, which would teach him a lesson for being greedy. The emu went in search of the bush plum and when he found the bountiful tree, he was delighted by the amount of beautiful plums he would be able to have for himself. He swallowed his first plum and to his horror, the plum got stuck in his throat. He tried and tried to either swallow the plum or spit it out, but all was not available. When he returned to the other animals, he could no longer speak and could only make gumping sounds. And because he could no longer speak, he spent the rest of his time wandering the bush searching for ways to get his voice back. Mm, that's deep, right? So this is the meaning. This is a time to keep your opinions to yourself as no good will come from the gossip and it will only harm others. No matter how much you want to share your secrets or pass on information to another source, it will only reflect badly on you. Regardless of the truth behind your opinions, this is one time where you need to let go and move Boy, yo, if that is not a message, yo, for, <laughs> for real, but like what is crazy and I'm just looking at everything as coincidences these days. I've been reading the book, um, my, um, what is it? The prophecy book, 
I've been reading this prophecy book, right? And ever since I've been reading this book, like my my third eye has been like awakening more and more. The Celestine Prophecy, the, the Celestine Prophecy is the name of the book. And when I was looking at reviews, it said the book, you don't find the book, the book find you. And that's a whole nother story how the book find me. And it, it was real. It was real. I wasn't searching for this book. It kind of landed in my lap, which is so crazy. But anyway, um, within that book, and I might do a review on that book. I'm still reading it though. It just basically talk about the coincidences in our life, right? And it's a coincidence that this ostrich appeared in my dreams last night. And on top of that, like I listen to like a lot of, um, I do a lot of research, listen to a lot of insight, like things and like different type of perception type of um, audios. And the one I was listening to last night basically said to not be of this world and to not give this world your opinions and such things like that um, because you are basically you you are basically being entertained by the surface in so many words right and i was just like oh that's deep you know and i did just put up a video i'm about to take it down <laughs> i did just put up a video about like what's going on in this world and you know in in the video it did have a lot of my opinions which was more so um guarded guided with the truth but it was still like an opinionated video and now I don't even know if I want to tell my other dream though. You know what I'm saying? Because like, uh, it's just straight said to be quiet and keep things to yourself. So that was the message that I got y'all. And I'm trying to tell you the irony that I just birthed this dream time back and I seen that ostrich and that was my message to just be quiet because although you might have your opinions and even if you ha might have the truth that you want to speak now is not the time because you just never know how another might perceive your truth or the facts that's out there you know sometimes people don't come looking for certain things and they find it and they might be offended right so i'm gonna just <laughs> um i'll let you know if i'm gonna put the dream up or not i don't know now but that one was a real dream too. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, so that was my message. Thank you for tuning in. Let me tell you how the spiritual world, world is real, okay? Stay prayed up, you know, stay guarded up, stay protected. Peace, love, and light. Mwah.